Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I just woke up. <clears throat> These are like the first words I've spoken today. Um, but yeah, I need to, I need to play some more of this video game because despite me being very productive this off session, I haven't played very much of my video games. Oh, what am I trying to do? That's right, we need to do potentially a couple, I need to do some of these little side missions, and I need to figure out the order we're doing our deal season. Okay, so it looks like, um, what is it, the, and I may have done this before, but Overlord we could do pre-suicide mission. Project Firewalker pre Normandy or pre suicide mission. Normandy crash site pre suicide mission. That one though I know I will be doing right before we go on the suicide mission. So that will be later. Um, the only one that looks like you really should maybe do post or the two I guess is Layer of the Shadow Broker and Arrival, which Arrival makes sense. I knew that one was going to be very last because that one sets up Mass Effect 3. So. Uh, today, man, I'm kind of footloose and fancy free. Like, I've done all the loyalty missions. I don't have to do, for some reason, I thought, I mean, like, you can do Shadow Broker before Suicide Mission, but I think it makes a little more sense story wise to do it afterwards. However, if you have a different opinion, let me know. I may not, you know, I may not get, I probably won't get to the Suicide Mission before I have to go back to work again. Um, but I'm going to not worry about that. <laughs> right now let's you know what we've done a little bit we've done a lot of these little side missions let's do let's do project firewalker um Cerberus project firewalker has reported that a survey ship has gone missing near the planet Ziona. the ship was carrying researchers and a prototype planet site exploration vehicle when it went missing Cerberus has asked that the vehicle be recovered and that any signs of the whereabouts of the researchers be reported so this is this is the hammerhead and it will replace essentially for these missions it will replace the um mako yes let's go do that Arrival, by the way, is the one that we got from Admiral Hackett pretty early on to rescue Dr. Amanda Kenson from a Batarian outpost, but like I said, um, I guess you could do it whenever, but it make, kind of makes more sense to do it story-wise, to make more sense to do it at the end, and then like kind of, you know, you'll have a couple months reprieve before the repercussions of your, like maybe like a month reprieve before the consequences of your actions come get you. Let's go. We talked to Legion after his mission. Everybody should be good. We might actually have more from Samara. Let's go see really quick. Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. Well, dang. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a Spectre. Why did you fight a Spectre? A Torian I named knew it. Nihilus. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. When we met, I witnessed you kill a Merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed. And I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. That's very true. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Turian, and a good specter. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> what have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. 
traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. Yeah, it feels like you'd be, it's like a two-edged sword, right? How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was <laughs> Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authority's care and continued my pursuit. What a brutal life. Like, it's like, oh, just tracking Morinth, who's, like, killing people every now and then, blah, blah, blah. No, like, in this instance, like, she used her Arda Yakshi powers to, like, manipulate an entire rural village, you know? Like, becoming that, like, godlike entity that she saw herself as, you know? And I think Samara brought it up, actually, at one point, that, um... I think the Ardat Yakshi were seen as like destruction gods of some sort, of some kind, in like the mythologies. So it's Morinth just playing that up, you know? And imagine, like that to me, that leaves open right there when it was done, only small children remained. Like, what a story you could write there to be the child, you know, who survived, who had to go through this experience, like see their parents, like, you know, go through this, like, terrible thing and, like, watch them become, like, consumed by an Ardat Yakshi, essentially. And then, but at the same time, like, you you know a part of you knows this is terrible, but then this woman, this powerful woman comes in and kills everybody you've ever known and loved and just leaves, you know? And it's like, I think that would be ripe for a story, you know? What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves, to be traded to the collectors for advanced technology. Oh. No, she wasn't a slaver. It's a dumb... Some of these, sometimes the questions are really dumb. It's like, no, read the room. Like, read the context. She's out... You don't have to read the context. She blatantly said, you know, she was hired to guard it. She didn't know it was slaves. And I guarantee you she's going to be like, and then I murdered everyone. <laughs> I can't imagine you went along. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The collector craft was just arriving. They closed, faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. Holy cow. How did she freaking... She killed all her people that she had been, like, close friends with, probably. And, like, maybe. I don't know, maybe they had, like, the warrior bond, you know. Which is still something. And then she pilots an entire ship <laughs> by herself. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending. Oh themselves. boy. Then I distributed the armor, mm -hmm. weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues and released the captives on the citadel. She was a Justicar from the start, always with a strong sense of justice. That's that's amazing, right? Uh, We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. Think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. She is so gorgeous. Also, I just really love the black and gold on her. The red was nice. I don't why are we like so close to each other? We're gonna like make out. <laughs> like, jeez. Like, and it, this is some, one of the few times I think where Shepard has to look up. I don't think she has to look up at very many people. She's a she's a really tall woman. We'll finish this mission and live to see the end. I hope you are right. The red was nice, but um, you know, red and blue are clashing colors, and they can like not clashing. They are, what is it? Um, they're not complement. They're primary technically, but like they're on opposite ends of the of the color spectrum. You know, 
so they can they can look really good together but it was just eh. the black and gold though very nice so quiet Shh, about listen here. i know i miss the I crew i can see why jack is the way she is i don't like it but i can right like yeah yeah jack has that effect on people it must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without That's you. actually an interesting point. I wonder if, like, you know, Samara was chasing her and saw all this destruction, but still, in her heart, she was, like, the bravest and... She said it straight up, the bravest and most cleverest of my daughters, you know, she had to kill. There ha Maybe there were a few times where her hand even if she didn't know it was like subconsciously slowed but then again i think her sense of justice is incredibly high but like still you know it's your own kid i'm really glad you got tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet it's hard to see i know upset. you two would look really good like together not i don't know like not like necessarily like together together just like put them in the same room and they have very similar aesthetics Come back later. Aesthetically, sure they look good it. together, <laughs> just standing next to one another. Hi, I'm gonna go. Listen, we'll go back. We'll go to the DLC in a second. Do you need something? Let's see. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Oh, let's check. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? I've already upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. It's. I like to get that off the list. There's something else I'd like to talk about. You have but to ask, Siha. <laughs> have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you, you are well. So I don't know, you can't, dang it, it's not looking at him right now. Um, I may have pointed it out before, but he has, he has the boob window, right? Let's see, um, no need to worry about me. How are you holding up? So I'm looking forward he's got to this collar here. It has been many years since I felt I could relax. Like the white one. Um, but that is actually below that for a while. I thought that was just like maybe like a sheer part of his shirt, but it is actually an opening, right? Like it's just a cut, it's like rectangle in the cloth. And it is apparently in the design, it is specifically because he has this uh like lung disease essentially and it's supposed to <laughs> it's supposed to make it so that it's easier for him to breathe it, it doesn't constrict his lungs it what is the way they said it where it didn't make any sense at all right because it's like just because like the the freaking skin on your chest is exposed doesn't mean it's gonna make it any dry because he has that thing where, like he needs to be in a drier place because any if he's in any sort of like human environment it's excessively hard for him to breathe so it's to keep his chest dry <laughs> so that he can breathe easier i just just saying it like that though is like that's not how the lungs work <laughs> you know it's not you're not breathing through your skin. At least he's not. Some species do. He's not breathing through his skin. <laughs> anyway, it's just it's just really funny. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. I spent ten years dead. I understand the feeling. Strange that I should only reawaken now. When there is so little time left. <laughs> Is my heart snapping into 60,000 pieces? Okay. It's just... Mm -mm. I don't think we should have anything... Sorry, we are going to do Firewalker, but I really, really quick want to check some of these people out. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? Edie has the Normandy running as efficiently as when we had a human crew. I doubt we'll see AIs replacing humans anytime soon, but at least we'll finish the mission. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I just want to make sure we get everybody, get everybody Gucci. I'm like, oh, well, Dr. Chalk was. Nope, I made a terrible mistake. To be fair, spoilers for people who don't know, uh, for the next five seconds, Chalk was is the only one who makes it in the end. <laughs> Shepard, need me for something? No, we're, I know we're good with Talk Garris. Talk to you later, Garris. 
I'll be here if you need. If I do, if I chat with him, I'll sit down in this dress again, which is a bad idea. I'll manspread in this dress, which is a bad idea. I love that they don't make her sit. Per, and like that's the thing in this game too is like sometimes it's a little annoying <laughs> when they don't change like the walking animations in certain games but honestly in this one like Shepard is trained for battle like she doesn't the male and female Shepard have the exact same walk it's not like you know Shepard's like willowy walking you know she's like and she sits and she like her legs are out you know she's just like she's balanced it's not like she's like trying to take up the space she's just a balanced individual and so I just I, I do like that, like, especially in this military situation, like, where she's, like, you know, a military woman. It wouldn't make very much sense, say, for my Dalish elf in Inquisition. I'm just going to edit all that out. Please, future me, just edit that out. <laughs> I'm just going off on a huge tangent. Okay, tangent done. Hopefully I edit it out. I'm going to talk to Zaid now. Back for another lesson. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going. Until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Yeah? Doesn't matter who you are. You got a gun in I your think face. We're Chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. I don't think there is much difference. I should let you go. Talk more what if they're the time. same? <laughs> you know what I mean? Did we talk to Tal? Maybe we haven't talked to Tally after her mission? Oh my gosh, am I a monster? Shepard, what can I do no, for I you? I think we did. Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. I never understood how you get sick from non-Corian germs. We don't, really. Turian germs are the only ones with any chance of affecting us, since we share amino acid chirality with them. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. Yeah, we haven't talked to Tally because I'm a monster. <laughs> how exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? He had chicken, chicken pox. pox? I wouldn't get chicken pox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. That, we have, we've had the chicken pox vaccine for years. And Presley anti-vax are confirmed, and or his parents were. <laughs> um... Also, I didn't know that I had chicken pox when I was younger, and apparently there was a chicken pox vaccine. I don't know. It may have come out, like, right after I had it. I think I was, like, right on that boundary. I'm not sure. But I definitely got chicken pox when I was younger. But that means I won't get shingles? Or if I do get shingles, it won't be bad? Something like Or maybe I'll get worse shingles. I can't remember. <laughs> and I don't know. Shingles is generally a stress-related thing anyway, as far as I know. I could be totally wrong. I'm not a medical professional. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. Jeez Louise, it would be super rough to have to live in a suit. I was like, just use our medical facilities. And honestly, if we were going to have a quarry in on board, which I know we didn't necessarily know, but I would think Chakwas would have put up some sort of, like, like scrubbed, like, corner of the medical bay where we could properly treat a quarry. And especially in a life-threatening situation, like, we would need to, like, quarantine that entire area and have it, like, completely scrubbed down before we could put Tally in there. And we, I think we should have a, sit, a place where we could just do that it, right off the bat, you know? You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Usually those go away. You can seal off part of your right. suit? Right. Like drop... It won't stop an okay. infection that gets into my bloodstream. But it Were your immune so system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. 
I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect oh, life, right. plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. The Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't have all been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. You would think, I mean, they were in a rush. I'm like, but it would have been good to maybe, like, get, like, um, to get some animals and plant life from the homeworld and, like, have it on. And I know they have, like, plants and stuff. Like, we, we were on the flotilla and we saw, like, they grow their own food there and everything, you know, but, like, maybe trying to, like, artificially and in a controlled environment introduce some of the like viruses and stuff like that would have been a good idea but you know maybe they did and it just failed you know like they, maybe they couldn't keep the population like they couldn't sustain the population in such a limited environment you know i don't know if i could live inside a suit my whole life we are in our suits even among family the most intimate thing we can do with another quarian is link our suit environments we get sick at first and then we adapt it's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no quarian. Um, uh, you know what oh, I mean. Oh, she's so good. I appreciate the thought, Tally. And I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Nevertheless, I'd be honored to link suits with you, Shepard. You know, if you were a quarian and we weren't already on a suicide She's adorable. Mission. I'm going to see her a bit more. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> I love Tally. Tally is 100% the best option for romancing if you're a male shepherd. At least in my opinion. <sighs> you know, someday maybe I'll make like an hour long video of just the... Because this actually has always been really relaxing to me. Sometimes I would just play this game to come in here and like just chill 